everybody, in this video we are going to compare key features of two periodic function. So let's see what this looks like. The equation for f and the g graph of g are given below. How do the periods and amplitudes of the functions compare? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the function first. So function. Okay, so here we have f of x is equal to 4 cosine pi over 4x. So my amplitude is going to equal the absolute value of 4, which in this case is just 4. My period is going to equal 2 pi over b, which is pi over 4, and this is going to be just 8. Because the pi's cancel out, then you have 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, so we have the period and the amplitude here. Now let's look at the graph. The graph, looking at this here, it looks like we start here and we have a function there. So my period is from 0 to 4, so my period is 4. My amplitude is going to be the distance from the midline to the max or the min, so I'm going to choose the max. So my amplitude in this case is 4. And in all honesty, I have enough information to come up with an equation for this graph. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I would do this equation. So I know the period is 4. The period equals 2 pi over b. So this would be 4b equals 2 pi, which means that b in this case would equal pi over 2. So my formula here would be y equals 4, my amplitude. This is, a, this is a sine wave, but it is flipped across the x-axis. So this would actually be negative 4 um, sine pi over 2x. All right, so we found the ampl amplitude, and we found the period. So the two functions have the same amplitude, but the period of function f, which is the um, equation function, is twice as long as function g, or the graph. Because again, our period here is 4, our period here is 8, 8 is 4 times 2, so this graph period is twice, two times as long. All right, guys, so there is that example of just comparing two different graphs, um, or a graph and a function, sorry. And um, I'd like to throw little things in here, like how to find the function. I like how the um, arrow gets really big. How to find the function in here. Um, so that you can start seeing how to create your, your equations or your functions from a graph or how to create a graph from a function. All right, so if you guys have any questions, always feel free to ask, and I'll catch you in the next video.